All right, hello, and welcome to your extra short episode of our weekly forecast that we do here at Direct Weather. I recommend you subscribe if you do look forward to next week's and the week after's weekly forecast. As we do this every week, and we also do monthly forecasts, seasonal forecasts, and all sorts of forecasts for numerous storms that come across the United States, uh, as we're always prepared for that to happen. Uh, we're going to be taking a look here at our precipitation forecast for this week. We're going to be going from the 5th through the 10th. It was an extra short week, you know, the Super Bowl going on. Uh, I didn't manage to find the time to do the weekly forecast earlier. Uh, so we're going to be doing an extra short edition here, 5th through 10th. Uh, and usually these run from Sunday to Sunday. So today's actually Monday, and it's going to be not including today because it's actually 9 p.m. So it doesn't make any sense to include today in the forecast. It's going to be from Tuesday to Sunday this week. Now, below average precipitation there for the Pacific Northwest, and this has been kind of a trend these last maybe even like five weeks, very long, over a month now it seems like we've had very far below average precipitation there. You know, there's been a few storms, but it's just not, you know, enough to meet your average. You're used to a ton of rain, and we're only getting uh, a, a pretty good amount, but really you guys are used to an excessive amount, so uh, it's been not near your average. Now, south of you, though, uh, we are going to be looking at above average precipitation there, uh, where we're going to be seeing some storms later in the week for California. Now, that's going to extend through to Colorado, Utah, areas in Idaho, and I've been looking at this, and this could trend a little bit further north as we head towards the end of the week, so look for the possibility of a little bit of Oregon and Idaho to get a little bit more precipitation there, maybe even Washington uh, than forecasted. That could flip-flop a little bit, uh, but right now this looks like the most likely outcome, but all of that will be determined by later in the week. Now, we will be looking at some slightly above average precipitation from the Dakotas through to Wisconsin, and then down to Oklahoma and Missouri, Arkansas area, and then back up through the upstate New York area and there's going to be a little pocket in that darker green area where we expect even more above average precipitation and there's going to be even maybe some thunderstorms for some of those southern areas uh, a few low pressure systems moving through or a couple at least so you're going to see a lot of precipitation this week now south of there not much is going to be happening Texas up through Virginia and south of those locations so Florida uh, we maybe will have one or two smaller storms but nowhere near our average or it will be pretty close to our average, but um, I, I don't think we're going to meet our average in these uh, tan areas. Now, on your temperature forecast, though, in those blue areas, where that's where we're looking at below average temperatures. So we kind of seen a switch here to where the west is now getting those colder temperatures and the east is getting the warmer than average temperatures. And you could feel it today and yesterday. It's just been really warm, really nice out there. It's going to be a great week to get out. As I said in my last video, make sure you get out there and... Um, you know, do a lot of outdoor activities because there's no guarantee that this warm will stick around. You know, it could get cold uh, in a week from now. Uh, and then we won't be able to do the activities or at least not as comfortably. So do it while it's warm. I recommend it. That's what I'm going to do at least. Now, as we get into the darker shades of blue, that medium shade of blue that extends from Nevada up through the Pacific Northwest and then hooks around Idaho, down through to Kansas, Nebraska, and then up towards the Great Lakes. Uh, and then you can see inside of there, we have that darkest shade of blue. That's where we're going to be looking at the well below average temperatures. It's going to be very cold during the entire week, I believe, for this area. Uh, expect a lot of cold again, and, we, and this is what we saw earlier last week, I believe, or I, I, I'm forgetting which day it was, but obviously we were dealing with some very, very cold temperatures there just recently, and it's going to be not quite that bad, but it's going to be pretty bad once again for the Dakotas, Montana, Wyoming, Nebraska, uh, Minnesota, and Iowa. Now, for the above average temperatures, that extends from Texas up through Arkansas, Missouri, and into the Great Lakes eastward. And then we see that little bit of darker orange. That's where we're going to be looking at more consistent warmth. But towards the weekend, I think we will cool down a little bit. Now, on to your special note segment of the video. And this is where we kind of talk about some storms that are going to be hitting throughout the week. And this usually is one to maybe five special notes per episode. Uh, and we're going to see special note number one. This is from the 5th through the 7th, so tomorrow through the 7th. We have a quick winter storm, particularly wintry for the northern portions of this colored shade and more rainy on the southern portions, obviously. Now, now this is going to quickly move from the Iowa, Minnesota, Missouri area eastward through the Great Lakes, through Chicago, through Detroit, and eventually into the northeastern United States and New England. Now we're going to move on to special note number two, and this is going to be a much bigger snowstorm, much more uh, heavier precipitation, and much more impactful, but it's going to be shifted a little bit further west this time around. We're going to start out in Utah, kind of the southern Rockies area, some of those northern Rockies getting involved too, and this is going to make its way a little bit slower than the last storm, but this is going to extend from the 6th through the 8th, so this is going to be kind of a two-day system, still pretty quick, so it's going to extend from the Rockies all the way through to Kansas, Nebraska, and the Dakotas. 
and then up into Minnesota, and that's going to be affecting areas east and west of there. Uh, and this is going to bring a lot more snow than that other storm, than special note number two. Uh, I expect this one to be much more impactful for some areas within this lighter shade of blue. Now for special note number three, we have a big storm to end the week for 8th through the 10th here for the Pacific Northwest and possibly California. And I'm, I'm kind of wondering where this is going to hit because this could affect more of California and into those Rockies, as I said before. Uh, but I, I kind of have mixed emotions about this one. And I think it could go either way, but I'm leaning towards the Pacific Northwest on this one. Uh, and, and still affecting some of those California areas and Southern Rockies as well. Anyway guys, that's it for this video. I hope you highly consider subscribing if this was your first time viewing, and I also hope to see you in next week's video. Anyway, I hope everybody has a great week.